Chapter 31 Finally found you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 31 Finally found Chapter 31 Finally found, he can really run. Lu Feng stopped at the lakeside and looked at the demon's corpse. It had been easy to find him these few days. He hadn't expected Jiang Hao to run this far and this fast. Fortunately, he was prepared and brought a treasure to look for him. As long as there was a trace, he could track him within a day. He took out the treasure compass and began to search around, looking for more traces Lu Feng found something, and he headed in that direction. Behind him, Qing Shui followed. Jiang Hao had run so far that it surprised them. Jiang Hao had been keen on killing as many demon dwellers as possible. Lu Fen didn't know why but he was determined to make Jiang Hao fail at all costs. Was it his goal to exhaust me, thought Lu Feng. After he followed the trail for a while, he realized Jiang Hao wasn't there anymore. He had run far away again. Gauging from the corpses of the demon dwellers, they had been dead for a day or two. Something's wrong. Lu Feng frowned. At this speed, he can completely hide from us. Why is he killing the demon dwellers? Does he want to draw people to him? Or is he after something from the demon dwellers? What could he want so badly from them that he risks being found out? Lu Feng felt the need to find Jiang Hao as soon as possible. He had a feeling that something bad was going to happen. Since he had made a move, he needed to eliminate all future troubles. That night, Jiang Hao sat cross-legged in the giant tree. This was the only safe place he had found at the last minute. Mountain peaks were rare in the Devil's Denver. And there were no caves. The best hiding place was inside the tree. He was trying hard to break through to the peak of the foundation establishment stage. If he couldn't do it even after accumulating a hundred cultivation and lifeblood, the coming days would be fraught with dangers to his life. Those two of the Heavenly Joy Pavilion were far from stupid. They would find him within a day or two. If they found him, Jiang Hao would be fighting against a late stage and another at the peak of foundation establishment stage. Chances of his escape to safety weren't high. He hoped he could make that breakthrough. He felt that the chance of him breaking through was high. He had a hundred cultivation and lifeblood which he hadn't used yet. The purple mist guided his lifeblood and spiritual energy, trying to break through the barrier to the peak. Jiang Hao calmed himself and let everything fall into his energy center. The cultivation and lifeblood in the interface constantly changed. The number had dropped from 100 to 27. If he couldn't break through till the number reached zero, then it would be impossible for him to reach the peak today. He suddenly heard movement outside. He ignored it. He had to focus all his energy to advance before he was discovered. Outside, Lu Feng was walking in the forest. He had used all his strength and speed to reach here. But he didn't discover much. Did I take the wrong direction, he suspected. He used all sorts of tracking methods and techniques. All pointed to this place. The direction was right. But where was the person he was looking for? He kept moving forward, always keeping an eye on his surroundings. Qing Shui followed behind to avoid getting ambushed by surprise. They had noticed Jiang Hao's speed. It was almost abnormal. They were on their guards. Where would someone hide in a forest, muttered Qing Shui. Bushes. Trees. Trees. Lu Feng began to observe the surrounding trees more carefully. He senses a tree radiating spiritual energy. It looked like an ordinary tree but there was something different about it. Lu Feng was overjoyed. But he had his doubts. It seemed that whoever was hiding was trying to make a breakthrough Lu Feng had to interrupt him no matter what. He swung his broadsword. Clang. Doge if you can, cried Lu Feng madly and swung at the tree with his broadsword. The large tree was split in two. He saw Jiang Hao. Lu Feng aimed straight for the space between Jiang Hao's eyebrows. He wanted to split Jiang Hao in two. However, when the blade was about to hit Jiang Hao, 
a phantom armor stopped the attack. Clang. The blade and the armor collided, evenly matched. A protective treasure. Lu Fon was shocked. Lu Fon wanted to try again and use all his strength to break through the armor. Jiang Hao, who had been sitting there with his eyes closed, suddenly opened them and looked at Lu Fong. Their eyes met as golden light shone. A powerful aura erupted from Jiang Hao's body. He had reached the peak of the foundation establishment stage. How is that possible? thought a shocked Lu Fong. He turned pale. Jiang Hao didn't give him any time to contemplate. He extended his hand and his shadow blade appeared in it. He slashed using the demonic sound slash technique. Even though Lu Feng was already on defense, the slash sent him flying backwards. Bang! He directly crashed into a large tree. His blade was broken. His palm was sleek with blood. But he was still alive. Jiang Hao didn't mind. He was happy that he had managed to injure his opponent to buy himself some more time. He got up and looked at Qin Shui. It wasn't good for the two of them to fight together. They had to end the battle as soon as possible. Qin Shui thought the same. She charged at Jiang Hao with her long sword in hand. Her cold and elegant surah surged. Jiang Hao was able to ignore it, thanks to the goo poison. Otherwise, it would have distracted him. He brandished his shadow blade and charged. Clang. Their blades collided. The light of her long sword and the darkness from the shadow blade radiated in every direction. In the dark night, the two of them launched their attacks. Neither wanted to retreat. Boom. A powerful force forced them to separate. Qing Shui shouted at Lu Feng, hurry, let's attack together, he just leveled up. So, he can't hold it for long. Qing Shui realized that she could not take down Jiang Hao alone. She, too, had just leveled up so her powers were still a little unstable. If they didn't band together, both of them would end up dead. Chapter 32 Kill the Enemy You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 32 Kill the Enemy Chapter 32 Kill the Enemy Lu Feng looked at Jiang Hao in disbelief. But he didn't have time to think too much about it. He had to listen to Qing Shui if he wanted to kill him. He spat out a mouthful of his blood essence. The drops of blood that fell from his body were scorching hot and it rushed towards Jiang Hao. Meanwhile, Qing Shui wasted no time and charged at Jiang Hao with her sword again. Jiang Hao tried to dodge the propelling drops of sizzling blood while trying to defend himself against Qing Shui's attacks. The blood dripped down like raindrops. The sword's intent was too cold and powerful. Boom! The blood exploded on the ground, creating a big pit. Bang! The sword slashed across, and the trees were shattered. In the darkness, the long sword and the shadow blade met and lit up the air. It was a battle of life and death. Jiang Hao tried to hold out as much as possible. But he felt like he would be defeated soon. He ignored the blood and turned to Qing Shui. He used the demonic sound slash and swung at her. Qing Shui used her strongest technique to defend herself. Boom! The two swords clashed, and the power swept through the surroundings making a huge halo. The two were in a heated battle. Lu Feng launched a blood attack again and realized that most of it was blocked by Jiang Hao's magic treasure. He didn't hesitate. He spat a mouthful of his blood on his broadsword to imbue it with more destructive power. He then approached Jiang Hao at an impossible speed to attack. Jiang Hao was defending against Qing Shui's attack while Lu Feng ambushed him from the other side. Jiang Hao calmed himself. He looked at Lu Feng and directed a little of the purple lifeblood mist towards him. The broadsword responded. Jiang Hao turned his head to avoid Lu Feng's attack. Then, he raised his hand and lightly knocked the broadsword with the back of his finger. The purple lifeblood had already spread to the tips of his fingers. Crack. The broadsword broke in the middle. As the broadsword fell from his hand, 
Lu Feng realized he was in danger. He saw a purple energy striking his chest with force. The force was too powerful. It hit his chest and shattered his ribs, crushing his internal organs. Lu Feng spat out fresh blood and fell heavily on the ground. Jiang Hao turned to Qin Shui. He had circulated the Hong Meng Heart Sutra to the extreme, and purple energy covered his entire body. Even the shadow blade was encased in it. He moved his blade, and a powerful force erupted from it. With a boom, Qing Shui was forced back. However, before his opponent could land on the ground, Jiang Hao brandished the shadow blade, now covered in purple energy. He used the demonic sound slash along with the purple energy. The shadow of the blade whistled past and penetrated Qing Shui's body. She fell to the ground. She looked at Jiang Hao in disbelief. How is he so strong? Her long sword lay broken. Cracks appeared on her body draining her life force. Lu Feng was terrified watching all this unfold before his eyes. He struggled to get up and run. But only a few steps away, a knife pierced through his neck and nailed him to the tree. Jiang Hao had thrown the shadow blade at him. If we die here, everyone will know it was you who killed us, said Qin Shui. Her eyes were full of hatred. Maybe, said Jiang Hao. But I remember you saying no one investigates deaths in the Devil's Denver. Jiang Hao took out ten of the ten thousand sword talismans he had packed with him. Each of them had the power of the foundation establishment stage. He divided the talismans into two groups, seven in one and three in other. Then, he attacked Qing Shui and Lu Feng. The ten thousand swords multiplied by even more and charged at the two people. Their corpses were completely shredded. Those two from the Heavenly Joy Pavilion were dead. Jiang Hao spat out a mouthful of blood after the fight ended. He had forced the breakthrough and now his body was injured and strained. When he had forced the Hong Meng Sutra to activate, it had added to his injuries. If he wasn't severely injured, he wouldn't have used his talismans. But he was glad the crisis was over, and he was still alive. He sat cross-legged on the ground and tried to heal his injuries. But a few demon dwellers approached. They must have been alerted by the sound of the recent fight. Here were five of them. Jiang Hao sighed. He was really in trouble. A month later, near the Devil's Den, Zheng Shijiu of the Ice Moon Valley waited for the others to arrive. He held a paper fan in his hand and looked into the distance, lost in his thoughts. Senior brother, you are early, said Exian Yuyue of the Thunder Fire Peak as she sheathed her sword and walked to the entrance where they had all decided to gather. There were a lot of useful things in the Devil's Den, if you knew where to look. She had encountered some of those things. It had been a thrilling experience, she had already earned enough for this sect mission, excluding the reward. Zheng Shijiu smiled. Seems like Junior Sister had encountered a lot of opportunities. I didn't have much luck. I only found some small, unremarkable things. Senior brother, you're just being modest. I didn't encounter many demon dwellers along the way. In fact, I didn't even see one when I was walking here. That should count as a successful mission, right? Zheng Shijiu nodded. Yeah, I didn't encounter too many as well. Xian Yue also looked into the distance. Senior brother, do you think junior brother Jiang will come back? I don't think so. Zheng Shijiu shook his head sadly. I found their tracks. Lu Feng and Qin Shui were moving together. Those three must have met at one point. Junior brother Jiang's survival seems unlikely, especially facing a late stage and another at the peak of the foundation establishment stage. Xian Yu sighed. I guess it couldn't be helped. We don't really know what's going on either. But what if junior brother Jiang does return? Impossible. Zheng Shijiu shook his head. But let's say he does. What would happen then? Asked Xian Yue. Then that will not be good, said Zheng Shijiu in a low voice. Chapter 33 
the formidable junior brother Jiang you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 33, The Formidable Junior Brother Jiang Chapter 33 The Formidable Junior Brother Jiang, why would that be bad? asked Xian Yuyue with furrowed brows. Because, said Jing Shijiu, looking into the distance. If three of them did meet, there must have been an intense fight. It isn't strange for those two from the Heavenly Joy Pavilion to return. They are more powerful than Junior Brother. But, if he does return to us here, what do you think would have happened? That those from the Heavenly Joy Pavilion might have, failed, said Xian Yuyue. It's not as simple as that. If, under any circumstance, Junior Brother Jiang returns, it would mean that he killed the other two, said Jing Shijiu. That's impossible. How could someone in the early Foundation Establishment stage kill another of late and peak stage? Xian Yuyue felt that it sounded close to impossible. That's right. If it happens, wouldn't that be a disaster? It would mean Junior Brother Jiang has some special ability to even subdue someone in the late and peak stage. Someone more powerful than him. Do you think he would let us off if he thought we posed a threat, said Jing Shijiu. You are in your early stage, and I am in the late stage. If he killed those two, it wouldn't be difficult for him to get rid of us either. As he finished his words, Xian Yuyue looked to the side, terrified. She nudged Jing Shijiu. S. Senior brother, look, she said nervously. Jing Shijiu turned his head to look where she indicated. He did not understand why she was so scared. But as he turned, he saw a young man walking out of the forest. His footsteps were steady and he looked calm. Zheng Shijiu's pupils were constricted. His heart pounded as though something bad was going to happen any minute. Senior brother, what should we do? Xian Yuyue asked in a low voice. If they hadn't discussed the possibility of Jiang Hao being able to kill people stronger than him, she wouldn't have been worried about it. But now, she felt like she would be attacked any minute. The young man walking towards them was Jiang Hao, completely healed from his injuries. Don't be nervous. Keep a distance from him. We can't stay in the Devil's Denver. The faster we leave, the safer it will be. Don't get too close to him. As long as we can run, it will be okay, said Jing Shijiu. Jiang Hao reached them. Jing Shijiu smiled at him as he moved away a little. Junior brother Jiang, did you get anything this time? The demon dwellers are mostly cleared, Jiang Hao replied. He found the two of them a little different from before. They seemed to be on their guard against something. He slowly understood the reason for their reaction. He had returned but the other two had not. It obviously looked suspicious since they knew those two had been targeting Jiang Hao. Jiang Hao did not care. He had no intention of picking a fight with them as long as they didn't attack him. Besides, there was no evidence of the fight with those from the Heavenly Joy Pavilion. Nobody knew what had happened anyway, as for killing these two to silence them. It seemed like a bad idea. It would cause too many suspicions unnecessarily. Are the senior brother and sister of the Heavenly Joy Pavilion still not back? Jiang Hao asked it, they must have been delayed by something, said Xian Yuyue. Then we don't have to wait. Let's go, Zheng Shijiu said with a smile. Under normal circumstances, he would have urged to stay back for a day or two to wait for them. But he couldn't care about them now. The longer they stayed here, the more dangerous it would be. Yeah. They aren't children. They will return on their own after completing the mission, Xian Yue added. Jiang Hao nodded in agreement. He had been in the Devil's Den for more than two months now. He was worried about the state of the Heavenly Fragrance Dao Flower. The three of them walked out of the Devil's Den Jing Shijiu and Xian Yue heaved a sigh of relief when they were finally outside. Outside the Devil's Den, it wasn't allowed to kill fellow disciples. Their deaths would be investigated. However, they didn't relax completely. It was so strange that the one they needed to be careful of the most was the young man they had looked down on. 
After bidding farewell to the two of them, Jiang Hao handed in his mission. In the future, people would visit the Devil's Den to make sure how many demon dwellers were cleared. Once they were certain, rewards would be handed out. As for the discovery of the dead bodies, Jiang Hao did not care. They would soon be food for the remaining demons. If the law enforcement hall didn't investigate the Devil's Den, no one had the evidence to condemn him. But he wasn't sure what Lu Xingqin would do. He hoped he wouldn't go and investigate by himself. Jiang Hao had already cleared the scene. Technically, there was nothing left to be found. After leaving the mountain where the law enforcement hall was located, Jiang Hao decided to visit the cliff master before he returned to his house. His master was a little surprised to find him safe and sound. But he nodded in good faith and didn't probe further. Jiang Hao finally walked home. It had been two months since he had been here. The moment he saw his small garden, he noticed that there were two blue bubbles on the heavenly fragrance Dao flower. Cultivation plus one, lifeblood plus one, the snow lotus didn't have any bubbles yet. It looked a little wilted. The blue lotus was on the verge of withering away. Jiang Hao watered the plants. Looks like no one visited. Maybe the traders are actually scared to even show themselves. He checked his surroundings and heaved a sigh of relief. He rested for a while. He then took out his shadow blade to check. The blade was already filled with cracks. Although it had been useful in killing Qing Shui, the blade had reached its limit. The reward this time can't compare to this magic treasure. Jiang Hao shook his head and placed the sword in a corner. It was just for decoration now. He opened his interface and checked his current state. Name. Jiang Hao, age. 20, Cultivation. Peak Foundation Establishment Stage, Cultivation Method. Heavenly Sound Hundred Revolutions, Hong Meng Heart Sutra, Divine Ability. Nine Revolutions Death Substitution, Unique, Daily Appraisal, Clear and Pure Heart, Lifeblood. Nine out of one hundred, cannot be cultivated, cultivation. Eleven out of one hundred, can be cultivated, divine ability. One third, cannot be obtained, it has only been about nine months since I built my foundation, and I have already completed it. This is the first time I feel that the golden core realm is right in front of me. Chapter 34 The Demoness Again You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 34 the Demoness again Chapter 34 The Demoness again After killing the two people from the Heaven's Joy Pavilion, Jiang Hao consolidated his cultivation. He also used all of his remaining cultivation and lifeblood. If he had to fight them now, he could do it very easily. In the last month that he spent in the Devil's Den, it had been very difficult to meet any demon dwellers. His cultivation and lifeblood hadn't received much replenishment. The biggest gain from this mission was that he had completed his foundation establishment stage. It would provide him with some stability for a short while. As long as he stayed here and continued with his routine, he would become stronger. His confidence was because of the heavenly fragrance Dao flower. He looked at the flower and its two tender leaves. Jiang Hao sighed. The flower gave him opportunities, but it also brought his dangers. He didn't know when it would be over. Jiang Hao stared at the flower and evaluated his shortcomings. The armor had helped him immensely. Because of it, he wasn't lacking in defense. But he still didn't have any magical spells and treasure that could be used for offense. The power of the demonic sound slash wasn't bad, but a better master might not necessarily be willing to teach him more about it. The inner sect was after all an inner sect. He needed to think of a way to get a better one. Magic treasures. It was better to use a knife. It was quite convenient. He wanted to buy a new one but for that he needed to reach the golden core realm. It would cost almost 1000 spirit stones. He didn't have that much. He was still poor. He needed to make more talismans and earn more. Seven days after returning from the Devil's Den, Lu Xingqin sent him the reward for the mission completion. It was a total of 300 spirit stones. 
Lu Xingqin also told him that the two people from the Heavenly Joy Pavilion hadn't returned so he needed to ask some questions. Just formalities, junior brother. If you know anything, please tell me the truth so that I can provide an explanation to the Heavenly Joy Pavilion, said Lu Xingqin. Of course, senior brother. Ask away, said Jiang Hao, maintaining a neutral expression. Junior brother, tell me about your experience in the Devil's Den, said Lu Xingqin walking to the courtyard of Jiang Hao's house. In the beginning, we progressed together for safety. But after a month or so, the number of demon dwellers greatly decreased, so we all decided to part ways, take different directions and work separately. So, hunting the demon dwellers was the only thing I had time for, said Jiang Hao. Lu Xingqin turned to look at Jiang Hao. Have you seen the two from the Heaven's Joy Pavilion? Jiang Hao shook his head. Actually, I deliberately avoided them. So, I didn't meet them except when we started from here. Lu Xingqin nodded and smiled. Then that's all I needed to ask. The Heavenly Joy Pavilion is suspicious of you but without evidence, they won't take the risk. During this period, Junior Brother can cultivate peacefully at the Cliff of Broken Hearts. Goodbye. Lu Xingqin left. As Jiang Hao watched him leave, he used his ability to appraise him once again. Lu Xingqin. A true disciple of the Heavenly Faction. Born with the aura of a dragon and a cultivation base at the peak of the Golden Core Realm. Nothing better to do than to spy on the Heavenly Note Sex Law Enforcement Hall. The reason he is on good terms with you is because he wants to get close to the Heavenly Fragrance Dao Flower to watch it carefully. He seriously suspects that you killed the three people from the Heavenly Joy Pavilion, and he has developed a strong interest in you. Jiang Hao was speechless. Although coming under the radar of Lu Xingqin made him distressed, he wasn't a threat for now. Lu Xingqin must have been telling the truth when he said he could cultivate peacefully. Jiang Hao breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, he could accumulate his cultivation and become stronger without threats from others. It had been a month since Jiang Hao had returned from the Devil's Den Han Ming came looking for him. Senior brother, we meet again. Han Ming smiled at Jiang Hao. Junior brother, what brings you here? asked Jiang Hao, puzzled. Han Ming's cultivation base surprised him. It was indeed drastically useful to have an inheritance in the middle foundation establishment stage. Han Ming had advanced so quickly that, senior brother, have you forgotten? I wanted to spar with you. I'm already prepared. Han Ming looked eager. Do you want to spar in private or in public? Jiang Hao just remembered. In private would be better. Nobody would be there to see him so it wouldn't matter how he lost. What about the time? Han Ming asked. Tomorrow, Jiang Hao said after thinking for a while. Today, he would sell his talismans and figure out a way to lose so it looked the least suspicious. He also needed to buy a better set of materials to make talismans. He had already learned to make twelve types of talismans. Out of the nine talismans, three were just supplementary and not very useful. For example, Cleaning talismans, strength talismans, and pain. Relieving talismans were not really sought after. Cleaning talismans used spiritual energy to keep the clothes clean. Not many liked to use strength talismans. Pain. Relieving talismans had only minor healing effects. He didn't make much of those. Okay, I'll look for senior brother tomorrow morning. How about we do it by the stream? Han Ming asked. Jiang Hao nodded his agreement. Han Ming left thinking that after tomorrow, he wouldn't need the senior brother anymore. Jiang Hao watched him leave, indifferent to the somewhat insolent attitude by his junior. He was just relieved that Han Ming would leave him alone after tomorrow. That would be good for everyone concerned. Do you really want to lose to him? A sweet and cold voice suddenly sounded behind Jiang Hao. He turned to see the woman in red standing in the courtyard. She was looking at the heavenly fragrance Dao flower with her brows lowered. Even her side profile was beautiful. Jiang Hao walked to the courtyard and bowed. Greetings, senior. 
Although he despised her visits, she was the only person who made him feel like a normal human. Goo poison was quite harmful. But it helped him many times. It had saved him from Yun Ruo's enchantments and also from those two of the Heavenly Joy Pavilion. It had kept his mind unaffected. You seem to be afraid of being in the limelight. Hong Yuye turned around and looked straight at Jiang Hao. Chapter 35 Seven Forms of Heavenly Blade You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 35 Seven Forms of Heavenly Blade Chapter 35 Seven Forms of Heavenly Blade Jiang Hao was worried about being in the limelight. In the Devil's Sect, he wasn't valued much. If he was strong, it would be fine, but he was still weak. That he just wanted to cultivate peacefully without unwanted attention from others. The outcome of the sparring match with Han Ming was of no consequence to him. But he couldn't tell her all this. So, he said, planting a flower as important as the one here, I don't dare attract unnecessary attention. Hong Yuye chuckled. What's your cultivation level? Middle stage of the foundation establishment stage, Jiang Hao replied. Hong Yuye walked to a corner and looked at him. I thought you were an honest man, but it seems I was mistaken. A good man can never lie so calmly. Jiang Hao lowered his head and didn't say anything. He didn't know if she was deliberately provoking him. When facing someone as monstrously strong as her, silence was the best method. Hong Yuye turned to look at Jiang Hao. I'll give you another chance. Tell me what your cultivation level is. Middle stage of the foundation establishment stage, said Jiang Hao again. Whoosh! Hong Yuye frowned. An invisible force whistled like a gale, striking Jiang Hao. He crashed onto the wall unable to withstand it. He was really curious about this woman's cultivation level. Hong Yuye snorted derisively. Fine. I will take that answer for now. Jiang Hao exhaled. He wondered whether she could see through his concealment. You use a saber. Hong Yuye picked up the shadow blade. I do intend to. Jiang Hao nodded. He did want to focus on sword techniques in the future. I've met quite a few people. They all practice with the swords instead. Hong Yuye calmly looked at Jiang Hao. You don't practice with a sword. No, Jiang Hao shook his head. Why? Hong Yuye asked. I'm a disciple of the devil sect. Practicing with the sword makes people think of disciples of the immortal school. That's why it's good to place the Dharma treasure on the saber instead, Jiang Hao replied. When he talked about the immortal sect, he usually thought about the fluttering white clothes and the long swords. There were all kinds of strange dharma treasures in the demonic sect. Hong Yuye sneered and walked into the room. She sat at a table. You are not very much valued in the heavenly note sect, are you? Jiang Hao followed her in. He lowered his head and did not say anything. It was true. He wasn't really valued. He was just, passable. As for the Heavenly Joy Pavilion. One day, when he surpassed them, he would definitely make a trip there. Hong Yuye continued, there are neither powerful magic treasures nor powerful spells that are of any consequence. There are still very powerful magic treasures, Jiang Hao retorted. He was referring to one of the nine heavenly battle armors on his body. Although this item was only a foundation establishment magic treasure, it was part of a set. If all parts were gathered, it would be quite powerful. Jerry Hong Yuye stared at Jiang Hao for some time. I have a saber technique here. Do you want it? What conditions do you have, senior? Jiang Hao asked curiously. It was impossible for her to give it to him for free. Aren't you going to spar with someone tomorrow? If you win, I will give you the technique, she said and looked at him with a smirk. Jiang Hao didn't respond instantly. He was thinking of what he would gain from the offer and what else he would lose. What will happen to Han Ming if I win? He would definitely pester Jiang Hao. It would raise suspicion. But it wasn't impossible to explain. 
Devil's Den provided many opportunities. He was there for two months. So, it wasn't strange for him to become stronger at that time. But would the cliff master believe him? There was a certain risk. Should I refuse and give up on the saber technique? He recalled the secret manual she had given him. It had helped him a lot. The things that this woman had given him had always come in handy. He made up his mind. He would win the sparring match and obtain the saber technique. Then, he would push all the blame to the devil's den for the increase in his strength. All right. Jiang Hao agreed. He didn't know when he would be able to obtain a good saber technique. He couldn't learn any of the techniques in Hong Meng's Heart Sutra. He could not pick up anything above purple bubbles unless he obtained another heavenly fragrance Tao flower seed. That was impossible. He could only seize the opportunity that he was presented with. You are quite decisive. Hong Yuya was bored and threw the book on the table. She then walked out of the house like a gust of wind. If I see that the heavenly fragrance Tao flower has not grown in any way the next time I come, I will hold you responsible. She disappeared without a trace after that. Jiang Hao bowed respectfully. After she was gone, he picked up the book. This time there was a title on the cover of the book. He wasn't in a hurry to read it. He glanced at the courtyard and saw that the corner where he had placed his shadow blade was empty. The woman stole my saber. Jiang Hao found it unbelievable that she could do such a thing. Shaking his head, he opened the seven forms of heavenly blade. However, the book was so difficult to understand. The difficulty is much higher than the demonic sound slash. I know the name of the first form. The first form of the heavenly blade. Moon, slaying, breathing a sigh of relief, Jiang Hao planned to use his clear and pure heart ability tonight to read the book. But first, he needed to go to the spirit herb Harden and sell some talismans. Han Ming returned to his house eager for tomorrow to come. He was around the same age as Jiang Hao and he really wanted to beat him. After all, he was a true disciple and Jiang Hao was just an inner sect disciple. As long as he could beat him, Han Ming could call him junior brother and nobody would care. There weren't so many rules in the devil's sect. If the disciples didn't kill other disciples and indulge in unnecessary fighting, there wasn't a problem. Chapter 36 One slash was enough to defeat him you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 36 One slash was enough to defeat him Chapter 36 One slash was enough to defeat him Junior brother said a tall and handsome man. Did something happen? You certainly look very happy. Senior brother Mu Han Ming said with a smile. It's not that big of a deal. I am just looking for senior brother Jiang. He agreed to spar with me. Oh. Mu Qi said with some interest. Junior brother Jiang. He has a quiet personality and only knows how to manage the spirit herb garden. Does he know you have advanced to the middle stage of the foundation establishment stage? I think he does, said Han Ming. I didn't really hide my cultivation. So, he might have noticed. Then junior brother, you have to be careful. Mu Qi kindly warned him. He just recently came back from the devil's den. There are many fortuitous encounters in the devil Denver. He must have found some. Otherwise, he wouldn't have sparred with you. It's always better to be careful. Senior brother Mu Qi left after that. Han Ming frowned. There was no chance to win by a fortuitous encounter. But caution was necessary. As fellow brothers, their age and cultivation were almost the same. Looking down on someone might be a very bad idea. Han Ming decided to be careful but still believed that he could win easily. The next day. Lifeblood plus one, cultivation level plus one, cultivation level plus one. Strength plus one, Jiang Hao absorbed the bubbles and waited at the door of his house. He was waiting for Han Ming. Yesterday, he went to sell his talismans. But unfortunately, he couldn't sell much. The profit was less than 100 spirit stones. 
he had a feeling that he will sell even fewer today. He decided not to go to the market so frequently. In about three or five days, if he went once, it would be enough. When he finished selling the talismans, he had bought a passable saber for 100 spirit stones. It was a silver. White long saber. He planned to use it to cultivate the first form of the heavenly blade. The previous night, he had used his ability, clear and pure heart, to understand the first form. The progress wasn't very significant, and he needed more time to comprehend it. He wasn't in a hurry. The demonic sound slash had taken time to learn so he guessed that a style as complicated as moon, slaying would take even more time. He needed to be patient. Senior brother, said Han Ming, walking towards Jiang Hao. He held a spirit sword in his hand. He looked extraordinary. Junior brother is really early, said Jiang Hao. Han Ming really seemed very eager and full of energy. I don't dare to make my senior brother wait for too long. Han Ming smiled. Where do you want to spar? Here would be fine, said Jiang Hao. Here. Han Ming looked at Jiang Hao's house at the back. Aren't you worried about damaging your house? Jiang Hao shook his head. Well, it's fine with me, said Han Ming, holding his sword at the ready. Then I'm sorry for offending you, senior brother. Zap! Han Ming's long sword was covered in lightning. Right from the start, he used his strongest move, Heavenly Thunder Sword. He had listened to senior brother Mu Qi's warning yesterday. He had decided to use his strongest move no matter how weak or strong his opponent was. Jiang Hao looked at his opponent. His expression didn't change. He brandished his saber and used the demonic sound slash. Rumble. Han Ming swung his word. Heavenly Thunder Sword resisted the demonic sound slash for a while. But the shadow pierced through the heavenly thunder sword in the next moment. There was an explosion and the heavenly thunder sword shattered into pieces. The shadow surged towards Han Ming. He used his spirit sword to block it. But the force was so high that Han Ming was sent flying backwards. He used his sword to help him stand. His long sword was full of cracks that it pricked at his heart. Han Ming realized that the difference between them was too vast. It was like heaven and earth. Junior brother Han, thank you for letting me win, Jiang Hao said politely and withdrew his saber. He had intended to put on a show of barely winning the match. But he was worried that it would send the wrong message. Those who were slightly stronger than him would approach him with ideas in their heads, and those who were much stronger than him would want to get rid of him easily. Therefore, he decided to defeat Han Ming in one hit. That way, Jiang Hao thought that he would not be challenged repeatedly. The only drawback was that if the cliff master found out, he would be suspicious. But having the heavenly fragrance Dao flower made him feel at ease. If there was a problem, he could just say it was because of the flower. If that didn't work, he would just tell him to meet Elder Baiji to clear any misunderstanding about the flower. After a long pause, Han Ming raised his head to look at Jiang Hao. His gaze held a tinge of fear and also reverence for him. Senior brother Jiang, you have already advanced, he asked bitterly. Yes. I had some fortuitous encounters in the Devil's Den, said Jiang Hao. I just got lucky. Why dot that? Thank you for showing mercy, senior brother, Han Ming said gratefully. He could feel that Jiang Hao's cultivation at the middle stage of the foundation establishment stage was more stable than his. This is just a private sparring session, said Jiang Hao. I hope junior brother won't take it to heart. I won't mention this to anyone as well. Thank you, senior brother. Han Ming thanked him before turning around to leave. As he watched Han Ming leave, Jiang Hao activated his daily appraisal ability to evaluate him. Han Ming. True disciple of heavenly note sex the cliff of broken hearts. His talent is top dot notch. He's 18 years old and is in the early foundation establishment stage. He is favored by the spirits of mountains and rivers and has the inheritance of a mighty figure. 
He was unwilling to be defeated by you. He wanted to defeat you after advancing. Jiang Hao was speechless. I hope he knows I am not showing off. Shaking his head, Jiang Hao walked to the spirit herb garden. There were a lot of things to do. The heavenly joy pavilion and the heavenly fragrance Dao flower were like a knife hanging above his head. The only way to safety for him was to become stronger and get rid of those two knives. Chapter 37 The man in the golden core realm of the sunset sect you are listening at novel full.audio. Chapter 37 The man in the golden core realm of the sunset sect Chapter 37 The man in the golden core realm of the sunset sect, name Jiang Hao, age 20, cultivation Perfect foundation establishment, cultivation method Heavenly Sound Hundred Revolutions, Hong Meng Heart Sutra, Divine Ability. Nine Revolutions Death Substitution, Unique, Daily Appraisal, Clear and Pure Heart, Lifeblood. Forty-nine out of one hundred, cannot be cultivated, cultivation. Fifty-four out of one hundred, can be cultivated, divine ability. One-third, cannot be obtained, Jiang Hao walked in the spirit herb garden, absorbing the bubbles around him. His strength and spirit were increasing bit by bit. He wanted his days to be this peaceful. But that was wishful thinking. A month later, he felt an unfriendly gaze on him as he tended to the spirit herb garden. Someone was staring at him. It was very faint, but he could sense it. He turned to see a few disciples in their lifeblood refinement realm collecting some spirit herbs. They looked unfamiliar. Who are they, wondered Jiang Hao. He called over some outer sect disciples who worked in the spirit herb garden to ask them about it. Senior brother, they are from other main sects who are here to help out, said Ching Cho. Is that so? Jiang Hao looked at the five people again. Which bloodlines are they from? The five people did indeed seem to be in their lifeblood refinement realm. But maybe it just seemed like that. That nameless secret manual had taught him many things. Since Jiang Hao now knew how to successfully conceal his cultivation, he knew how to detect other people's cultivation level as well. Among those five, one of them had just advanced to the early stage of the Golden Core realm. However, that one concealed his cultivation level to make it seem as though he was like at lifeblood realm. Jiang Hao quietly activated his daily appraisal ability on the muscular man with a full beard. Jin Zhou Heng. An inner disciple of the Sunset Sect, undercover in the Thunder Fire Peak. Many years ago, he cultivated together with his junior sister, Yun Roa, and was obsessed with her beauty. When he heard the news of Yun Roa's death, he was furious. He broke through to the early stage of the Golden Core Realm and came here to seek revenge even at the cost of his own life. The result of the appraisal chilled Jiang Hao to his spine. He didn't really care about the man's infatuation with senior sister Yun Roa, but the last line worried him. Came here to seek revenge even at the cost of his own life. In other words, he didn't mind killing himself if it meant taking Jiang Hao with him. No matter how strict the jurisdiction of the Heavenly Note sect, all security would be useless if he had to face him on the sect grounds. He wasn't afraid of death. Jiang Hao didn't understand. What was so good about Yun Ruo? Was she worth risking his life for? People in the Golden Core realm had long lifespans because not everyone wanted to offend them. They also had a high status. So why would they seek their own death? Everyone in the Devil Sect lives an ignoble life, thought Jiang Hao. But a disciple of an immortal sect was different. He has a bright future ahead of him. Why throw everything away for an infatuation? Is there really no one as beautiful as senior sister Yun Ruo? Everyone seems obsessed with her. Jiang Hao sighed inwardly. I think some of them are from Thunder Fire Peak, said Ching Cho. There is a list outside, senior brother. Do you want to have a look? Jiang Hao nodded. He got up and left the spirit herb garden. He didn't dare to stay inside longer than necessary. He was worried that the man at the Golden Core Realm would attack him suddenly. 
someone at the peak of the foundation establishment stage couldn't possibly withstand even a few blows from someone in their golden core realm. He didn't want to take a risk. His cultivation and lifeblood were about to be fully accumulated. If everything went well, he would be able to attempt to advance in a few days. However, since the man had already seen him and probably knew his name, it wouldn't be difficult for him to find Jiang Hao's house. It was likely that he might attack soon. Since he hasn't taken any action yet, he probably wants to leave this place alive, Jiang Hao thought to himself. But if the man found him and killed him in the dead of night, he would have enough time to leave the Heavenly Note sect undetected and return to Sunset sect. The Heavenly Note sect would have no way to deal with him then. After getting the name list, Jiang Hao left the Cliff of Broken Hearts and headed to the Law Enforcement Hall. He was there to look for Lu Xingqin. Although they were all spies, not everyone was looking to kill him outright. He knew Lu Xingqin didn't want him dead, so he wanted to ask for his help. Junior brother, is something the matter? Lu Xingqin was a little surprised to see him. Jiang Hao was famous for not leaving the cliff of broken hearts unless he badly needed to. He had ventured out even less after he offended the Heavenly Joy Pavilion. Everybody also thought him weak. His function was to guard the spirit herb garden. He didn't dare leave the sect. Killing within the sect was based on merit. Killing outside the sect was based on one's mood. He didn't want to die on somebody's whim. There's something I want to tell senior brother. Jiang Hao took out the name list and handed it to Lu Xingqin. I think one of these five people might be a traitor. Junior brother, are you sure? Lu Xingqin took the name list and looked at it. I'm not really sure but, where did junior brother see them asked Lu Xingqin. The spirit herb garden of the cliff of broken hearts, Jiang Hao answered truthfully. Lu Xingqin thought for a moment. I'll check it. Junior brother, you'd better be careful. Jiang Hao nodded and thanked him. Lu Xingqin would definitely be able to find out about the traitor. Jiang Hao returned to his house and began to read about the moon slaying saber technique. It had been a month, and he had almost mastered the move. It was just that he wasn't skilled enough to use it efficiently. In the middle of the night, he took out his saber and waved it. The blade's light lit up like the moon, leaving a deep trench in the ground. If I use a little bit of force, it is even stronger than the demonic sound slash. If I use all my strength, I wonder how destructive it would be, thought Jiang Hao. Looking at the saber in his hand, Jiang Hao suddenly had the thought of using this technique on that golden core realm assassin who had come to kill him. He brushed the thought away. It was too dangerous. My strength is dazzling. Jiang Hao was shocked. During this period, he had advanced too quickly and obtained such a saber technique. He almost swelled up with pride. Chapter 38 The man in the golden core realm was right in front of him you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 38 the man in the golden core realm was right in front of him chapter 38 the man in the golden core realm was right in front of him after discovering Jinjo, Jiang Hao didn't go to the spirit herb garden anymore. He stayed at his courtyard and gathered bubbles there instead, waiting for his cultivation and lifeblood to reach a hundred. Lu Xingqin also didn't arrive to update him on the situation. Jiang Hao didn't know if he had found anything. This worried him even more. The early stage of the Golden Core Realm wasn't something that someone in the Foundation Establishment stage could compete with. He was worried that the man might not be able to restrain his hatred and would attack suddenly. As for hiding somewhere else. He had thought about that but there were too many spies who hated him and wanted him dead, so his house was the safest for him at the moment. If the man chose to attack, Jiang Hao would leave straight for his Cliff Master's place for help. There was some hope that the master might help him. And the only thing he could depend on completely was his advancement to the next stage. Just a few more days will be enough. Seven days passed in a flash. He consolidated his cultivation and lifeblood every day so that he could advance. This time, though, it was different. He didn't know if 100 cultivation and 100 lifebloods was enough for him to advance. 
It was a big step into the Golden Core realm. If they were not enough then everything would go to waste. He could only collect another 100 in three months. But Qin Zhou Heng had already discovered him. Would he wait another three months to attack? It was unlikely. Perhaps he had already scouted Jiang Hao's surroundings and was waiting to attack in a few days' time. Jiang Hao looked at the interface. Lifeblood. 99-100, can be cultivated, cultivation. 100 out of 100, can be cultivated, one more day will be enough. Jiang Hao took his saber and raised it. He felt someone staring at him again. It was so direct that Jiang Hao balked. He wasn't prepared. He waited for the man to make his move, then he would try to escape. He didn't want to provoke him that the heavenly fragrance Dao flower crossed his mind. There were still too many people who coveted it. Maybe Elder Baiji or that woman would make a move if someone tried to steal it. Jiang Hao waited but the gaze suddenly withdrew. He was puzzled. Junior brother Jiang are you there said Lu Xingqin's voice from outside. Yes, Jiang Hao immediately replied. No wonder the traitor had retreated. But it was still daylight right now. The man might make a move at night. Jiang Hao invited Lu Xingqin in and poured him a cup of tea. Junior brother is right. It is indeed possible that he is a spy from another sect. He should be arrested by tonight. Lu Xingqin took a sip of the tea. Be careful. The person is most likely after you. Since he dared to enter the sect, he plans on not returning alive. However, everyone wants to live, so he might now back off easily. But if we make a move, he will become even more aggressive. Jiang Hao nodded to show that he understood. He didn't request for the law enforcement hall to protect him, nor did he ask Lu Xingqin to arrest him quickly. Jiang Hao already had so many people who disliked him. He didn't want more enemies. Lu Xingqin had already done a lot by informing him personally about the matter. Jiang Hao became curious as he looked at the empty courtyard. What if Lu Xingqin betrayed him? Should he look for Elder Baiji instead? Or should he tell the woman in red? Jiang Hao shook his head, unable to think of a solution. He didn't want to encounter the person. He walked out of the courtyard intending to visit the spirit herb garden. He was still lacking lifeblood. If the spirit herb garden had some bubbles, maybe he can try to advance right now. If he could advance fast, he might be able to face the danger that lurked around him. At the least, he would have a chance of escape. Jiang Hao noticed that Han Ming was getting people to organize the spirit herbs. Senior brother Jiang, I haven't seen you for a few days, Han Ming said in respect. He was unwilling to lose to Jiang Hao, but he understood that he wasn't a match for him, at least not yet. Junior brother Han is going on a long trip. Jiang Hao pointed at the spirit herbs. Usually, Han Ming did not prepare so much spirit herbs in an instant. Even if he was refining pills, he didn't need so many. So, the possibility was that he was going on a long trip. Azure Mountain is holding a Dao conference, and everyone seems to be reluctant to leave since they have a conflicting relationship with our sect, said Han Ming. I want to go out to train. A confrontation between the righteous and the devil. Jiang Hao didn't want to experience something like that. Then junior brother must be very careful, Jiang Hao kindly warned him. He also saw a blue air bubble in the garden. But he didn't know if they contained lifeblood. Will do, senior brother, said Han Ming. When I come back after training, I will look for you to spar with. Jiang Hao nodded. Next time, he would lose to him deliberately so that he can be left alone. After bidding farewell to Han Ming, he went to the spirit herb garden. He looked at the people who had come to help. None of them looked as formidable as Jin Zhou Heng. After a while, the bubbles began to pour in. Strength plus one, spirit plus one, endurance plus one, spirit plus one, he was happy to feel the slight changes in his body. He had lost a lot of progress in these past few days because of the traitor. 
Soon, the blue bubble also merged into his body. Lifeblood plus one, it's done. Jiang Hao left the spirit herb garden. He wanted to advance to the Golden Core Realm as fast as possible. Chapter 39 Facing the man in the Golden Core Realm you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 39 Facing the Man in the Golden Core Realm Chapter 39 Facing the Man in the Golden Core Realm O.org at night, in the Thunder Fire Peak, a spell lit up the forest. Boom! The Man in the Golden Core Realm merged into the darkness and left reluctantly. After coming to the Heavenly Note sect, he had finally found that person and even knew his strength. Tonight was perfect to make a move, but he was discovered by the people of the Law Enforcement Hall. He was going to be arrested. If it wasn't for the spy who notified him, he would be gravely injured. If he was caught, the Heavenly Note sect would definitely throw him in the Lawless Tower and suck out all his cultivation. He didn't care about dying. He only had one fear. That he would not be able to finish what he came here for. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have hesitated. I should have attacked the first time I saw him, thought Jin Zhou Heng regretfully. He had stalled for time in vain. He had made every preparation. In fact, at a glance, he was only an outer disciple in the lifeblood refinement stage. The possibility of him being targeted had been zero. So, how did they discover me? Eleven Zen Boom. The spells kept on bombarding him. He did not try to escape. Instead, he went to find Jiang Hao. He would kill him first and think about escaping later. Late at night, Jiang Hao sat on the floor with his eyebrows furrowed. He grimaced. The purple energy kept churning and his strength surged in his meridians. The powers gathered in his energy center as though squeezing into one another. When the powers merged, it would create a change. However, even after a while, the powers were unable to merge into one. This was the bottleneck. Jiang Hao was not anxious about this. Instead, he circulated the Hong Meng Heart Sutra and sorted out the powers in an orderly manner, allowing them to merge quickly. In the dead and silent night, Jiang Hao's entire body was surrounded by purple energy. When the spiritual energy and lifeblood were completely exhausted, a cracking sound came from within his body. It was the sound of the bottleneck breaking. A tiny golden core gathered in his energy center and began to absorb all the surrounding energy. After a short while, a complete golden core floated in his energy center. A powerful aura overflowed and spread throughout his entire body. Jiang Hao slowly opened his eyes. He clenched his fist feeling the new power that was emerging. He heaved a sigh of relief. The golden core realm. It's unbelievable. Jiang Hao was surprised. In the past it had taken a long time to accumulate cultivation bases. After encountering Yun Rua, he was in constant danger even now after her death. But his advancement was becoming easier and faster. Maybe I should be thankful to her for putting me on this path, thought Jiang Hao. He shook his head. The source of all this wasn't senior sister Yun Rua. It was that woman in red. Her appearance must have caused some changes in the Heavenly Note sect. They began to search for spies and traitors very diligently. It was then that senior sister Yun Rua had targeted him. Most likely, it was then that the Heavenly Fragrance Dao Flower was handed over to him to fish out more traitors. So, he had to thank that woman instead. But. It was also because of that woman that Jiang Hao was in danger all the time. He should be blaming her instead. He shook his head and put his thoughts aside he then went to the courtyard and raised his saber. Whether something would happen to him tonight or not was something he had to find out by waiting patiently. He sat there for the whole night. The first ray of sunlight emerged from the horizon. When Jiang Hao was sure that nothing was going to happen, he saw a figure approach. He's here. Jiang Hao picked up his saber and walked out of the courtyard. He walked to the stream. The person was now across from him. Both looked at each other. 
Under the rising sun, Jiang Hao could see him clearly. The man was muscular. His aura was weak. His clothes were torn. Fresh blood flowed out of the cuts and bruises on his arm and his waist as though he had just arrived from a terrible fight. Judging from his aura, he could be considered quite powerful. Was he intentionally letting him go? Jiang Hao immediately thought of the heavenly fragrance Dao flower. Many people wanted to see what would happen if they touched it. That was why Lu Xingqin hung around him. He wanted a good show. You can't escape. Jin Zhou Heng stared at Jiang Hao in malice. I'm not running, Jiang Hao replied. Are you waiting for someone to save you? Don't even think about it. The person who captured me is currently trapped by my supernatural power. He won't be able to make it here before daybreak. Jin Zhou Heng's face only showed resentment. Why did you kill junior sister Yun Ruo? She was a traitor, Jiang Hao replied calmly. Do you know how important junior sister Yun Ruo was to me? She was my hope to survive. When I was weak, she was the only one who stayed by me. She was like a ray of light that lit up my dark world. She gave me a goal and motivation. She allowed me to surpass everyone around me. But, you killed her. Jin Zhou Heng became even more agitated as she spoke. His eyes were filled with intense hatred for Jiang Hao. Jiang Hao looked at him and said, I know now. Jin Zhou Heng scowled. Then you also know I have come to kill you. Jiang Hao remained indifferent. Do you still remember how good senior sister Yun Ruo was to you? I can never forget. Not in this lifetime, at least, Jin Zhou Heng said angrily. Remember it for a while more, Jiang Hao said kindly. Recall that beautiful memory and then come kill me. Chapter 40 The quickest way to earn spirit stones you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 40 The quickest way to earn spirit stones Chapter 40 The quickest way to earn spirit stones Jin Zhou Heng stared at Jiang Hao, not saying a word. Instead, he sank into his memory. It was impossible for him to leave this place alive. Perhaps he wouldn't have the chance to remember junior sister Yun Ruo anymore. The image of her accompanying and encouraging him flashed through his mind. Senior brother Jean, if you defeat this demonic beast, I'll cook for you. How can no one like senior brother Jean? I like senior brother Jean very much. Senior brother, do you think my sex clothing is good? He couldn't help but smile at the memories he had of her. However, a saber glowing with light flashed at that time. Whoosh! The saber glowing like the moonlight cut everything. His life force drained and everything returned to silence. Even Yun Ro's image faded. He saw Jiang Hao was slowly putting away his blade. Yu, he couldn't say anything for a moment because his life force was rapidly draining Jiang Hao put away his saber and looked at the man in front of him calmly. Jin Zhou Heng's vision began to blur, and he fell backwards. With a thud, he fell on the ground. His thoughts faded. That was it. Jiang Hao heaved a sigh of relief. He didn't know if Yun Ruo had been kind to him or if she had only used her magical charm, but it didn't matter anymore. Truth and falsehood didn't matter. Jiang Hao wasn't a heartless person, but he also wanted to live. He did not put his saber down that he used a few of the 10,000 sword talisman to make sure the man was really dead. He stood there for a long time. Advancing to the Golden Core realm had felt unreal. In less than a year, he had gone from early foundation establishment stage to early stage of the Golden Core realm. It felt so dreamlike. Jiang Hao calmed himself and went to find the Cliff Master. This time, he had used the strength of the middle foundation establishment stage. The knife technique was the first form of the heavenly blade. Moon, slaying, if it hadn't been a sneak attack, it would have been difficult to deal with Dade after a while, Cliff Master Ku Wu Chang arrived. He looked at the dead man and was silent for a long time. He looked at the saber and then at Jiang Hao. You killed him, asked the Cliff Master. Yes. 
Jiang Hao nodded. You are in the middle foundation establishment stage. Ku Wu Chang asked. The cultivation Jiang Hao had revealed was that of the middle stage of foundation establishment. Yes. It was a fortuitous encounter in the Devil's Denver. What about the saber technique? Ku Wu Chang asked again. A nameless saber technique I obtained in the Devil's Den, Jiang Hao answered. If his master wanted to see proof, he could probably write it down somewhere and give it to him. However, Jiang Hao realized that he shouldn't use fortuitous encounters as an excuse any longer. The master might start having doubts. Fortunately, his master did not ask any more questions. He only asked him to tell him in detail about the incident. Jiang Hao told him everything truthfully. Except the matter of his cultivation level. You were not confident, so you still chose to launch a sneak attack. Ku Wu Chang stared at Jiang Hao. Jiang Hao nodded, yes, dot master Ku Wu Chang took away the corpse with him and told Jiang Hao to be more careful. He also said that the people from law enforcement hall might come looking for him again. Seeing his master leave, Jiang Hao sighed in relief. He felt a little regretful. If the master could accept him as a true disciple, he would be so much safer. The people of Heavenly Joy Pavilion would think a hundred times before bullying him. But he could only rely on himself. He returned to the courtyard and looked at the heavenly fragrance Dao flower. Jiang Hao frowned. There were no bubbles. He had thought that it would give him bubbles once the sun came out. It was daylight now and still there were no bubbles. What is going on? He was curious now. Does Master know I planted the heavenly fragrance Dao flower in my courtyard? He gave up thinking about it. There was no other way to find out unless he asked his master directly. The next day, Jiang Hao looked at the heavenly fragrance Dao flower in his courtyard, but he still didn't see any bubbles. On the third day, a bubble appeared. Cultivation plus one, lifeblood plus one, so, it only bubbles every three days now. Another three days passed, and the bubbles appeared. That proved the fact that it would give bubbles only once every three days. Even the snow lotus took longer to give him bubbles these days. Only green and white bubbles appeared on the third day. It wasn't until the ninth day that there were a few blue bubbles. Jiang Hao was stunned. One month after advancing to the Golden Core Realm, Jiang Hao looked at his cultivation lifeblood that had already exceeded 10 points and began to extract and cultivate. He wanted to see if the current 10 points were any different from the previous 10 points. After extracting his cultivation, a huge amount of spiritual energy surged into his body, much denser and more majestic than the previous 10 points. Not daring to think too much about it, Jiang Hao began to consolidate his cultivation. He circulated the Hong Meng Heart Sutra and absorbed the spiritual energy and lifeblood. After a long while, Jiang Hao slowly opened his eyes. He had completely consolidated his cultivation. He also understood that the decrease in air bubbles was related to his realm. The speed had suddenly become slower. If he had accumulated it four times, he would be able to attempt an advancement to the next level. The speed had decreased but the amount of accumulation had increased drastically. With knives hanging over his head, he felt it was dangerous for him to not advance as soon as possible. He walked to the courtyard and looked at the heavenly fragrance Dao flower and thought that it would be great if it could grow three stalks. If not, he could always buy other spirit herbs to replace it. But he was short of spirit stones. He had earned about 500 from selling talismans. Including the previous ones, he had earned a total of 1,000 spirit stones. 1,000 spirit stones sounded a lot until he went to look at the Golden Core Realm magical treasures. Even a small and simple saber costs 8,000. He would have to earn around 10,000 to 20,000 spirit stones if he wanted to buy anything. How long would that take me, wondered Jiang Hao. How do the others in the Golden Core Realm manage it? When he went to the spirit herb garden, he asked Chin Cho if he knew how. Rob someone, was the only thing he had said. Oh, senior brother, 
we need your help, said Chin Cho. He pointed in a direction in the spirit field. There seems to be a spirit beast running loose around the field. We can't catch it.